today from Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. It's week six of the NFL on EA Sports. Indianapolis Colts taking on the Miami Dolphins. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Miami Dolphins and the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. turn it's Tariq Cohen and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line take over first and 10 so here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense they'll be led out by their quarterback who played for the Nevada Wolfpack in college it's Colin Kaepernick coming off of a loss their last time out I think he's just seeking to make a bigger impact on the game. He threw a touchdown pass, didn't throw an interception. I think he just wants to jump those numbers up in terms of flinging it around and letting his receivers get into the end zone. carry for the 2018 Pro Bowler James Conner and from the 25 they worked this to the 29 a gain of four tackled by Bradley Chubb the number five pick in the 2018 draft Kaepernick gonna throw I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry he wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole ended up only getting four yards on the carry I think he had designs on that one being bigger Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. Going up top, he rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Julian Blackman. Julian Blackman. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. 
I guess we have to nickname him the thrower, aren't we, or something After like that. After last week? I mean, man, you're talking about over 400 yards throwing the ball. The running backs and everyone else may be looking at him like, hey, don't forget us. <laughs> and he'd probably just tell them, listen, you want to get involved? Go out. Go out and catch some passes. I'll make sure you touch it. Offense. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And this is incomplete. He was looking that time to get it to Paris Campbell. And it's second down. It's now second down and 20. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. The pass. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Got an open man. That's Campbell. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It'll be a gain of 17 and an Indianapolis first down. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them to show respect to him. Hey, you guys got us a turnover? <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. And not much running room. Down to the 32. And Kyle Van Noy in on the stop. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, here's a run with Mack. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Out of the gun now on third down. He'll get this one to Pittman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. He completes this one to Mack. Three yards the game there, second down. Complete to Marlon Mack. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 16-yard line. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. It's the fullback. His first touchdown on the year. And the Colts are going to take a first quarter lead. And boy, that was a heavy set. I think they had three tight ends out there. The fullback, they just, you knew what they were going to do. Yeah, they weren't trying to fool anybody at all, were they? There was none of this show you heavy set, bootleg it out. No, no, no. Big guys up front, hand it to the big guy in the backfield. 
And this is good to make it 7 0 Indy. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it results in a 40 yard touchdown run. So after the touchdown, here's Blake and Shoe kicking off. Here's Cohen now to return. And a decent return out to the 27 yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 20. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7 0 the score as they start first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Hardy Willis on the tackle. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 30-yard line. The first carry for the shifty Tariq Cohen. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Kenny Moore brought him down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run here with counter. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. One yard gain. Brings out, out of the gun, running with Cohen. At the 39 yard line. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The ball carrier. He's across midfield. To the Actually, love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. First and ten. Here's Kaepernick. That is caught by Cohen. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. To Tariq Cohen. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. He gets this one complete to Bowden. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Really? Really? Did we just see that? That's a big catch. One-handed, I might add to pick up a first down. I was going to say on third down for the defense, it's one thing to give up a reception. You just kind of shake your head on a one-handed catch to pick up the first. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. This is Connor. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Connor, the ball Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Kaepernick to throw on second down. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And the Dolphins are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. So that's now four completions in a row, a good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, get me a fresh ball. And, and this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game. 
and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. First carry now for the former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. And let me tell you, that wasn't as easy as it looked. Dancing away and moving forward for six yards. Down at the 26. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. With the score, Colts seven, Dolphins nothing. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Now Taylor. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. The toss here completed to Pittman. They'll contain him to just four, second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Number 25. Martin. They're on the tackle, Shaq Lawson. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Incomplete. Brings up third down, and on third down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll find Pittman. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Play action fake. They'll look to throw. Throw left side, take it in by Pittman. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. That catch good for only a couple. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the Dolphins' 38-yard line. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's the perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and this is picked up by the Dolphins, and he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. A little careless with the football, and he also had a fumble loss last week, didn't he? He certainly did, and when I'm watching him play, the one thing that comes to mind is always remember, traffic, turbulence, people around you, two hands. Get two hands on the ball. Grip it tight. I know it looks cool to have it in one hand, but put it away. Tuck it away because you've got to take care of the ball. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. 
And the throw here caught by Devontae Parker. And yeah, they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing now is Kaepernick. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. First down, Dolphin. On first and 10 is Connor. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Bobby Okoriki. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. Kaepernick now to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. Kaepernick. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. five. That catch good for 5. It's third down. Third down. From the gun, it's Kaepernick. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Makes the score Colts seven, Dolphins three. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. Isaiah Rogers on the return. The Colts take over first and ten. So here are the Colts to take over. Last week they defeated the Broncos and they've got the lead here as well as they work with a first and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throw left side complete. It's Mack. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. He'll keep it himself. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Second and two. The 46-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. The Colts on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. He dumps this off to Mack. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 37. That's good. We're on full. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 37-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Campbell making the catch. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Seven yards, the pick up there. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 30-yard line. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he fires one incomplete. He was looking for Michael Pittman that time, and it's third and short. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up Ford. Incomplete on the throwaway. Third down is the down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. Rodrigo Blankenship for the Colts field goal. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. Blankenship's kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. Colts 10. Dolphins 3. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capture the field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At their own. There's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. He's just been looking for some space. Yeah, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. It's caught inside the 25. Another big gainer, two in succession, as this one goes for 32. Sometimes the one-handed catches are unnecessary, but he was trying to ward off the defender with the other, so maybe there that was just a good play. So that tells you that not only do they imagine those types of catches, they actually work on them with defenders jostling them in order to keep their concentration and haul it in. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. It's caught on the right side, Williams. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Kaepernick. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Again, it's Camperton. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So that is three interceptions now in this first half. And you hate to ask the question, but you know, let's be honest. We're thinking about it. Do you need to go in a different direction next series? Potentially. We know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature here. But he has been their starting quarterback for this game. So they've got to weigh things about who's behind him. Do they think he can snap it back into gear? Maybe change up the play calling to help him out a little bit. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Hits his target, the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Mack. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Mack. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. They'll look to throw now on first down. Catch made here by Campbell. And he's got this down to the 35. 
with 11 yards there, just like last play. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in week six. We'll begin out in the windy city of Chicago, and it's the Browns who have the lead late in the first half. Baker Mayfield with three touchdown passes. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Rodgers on the return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Brings up second and three. They run once more with Taylor. They find some open field here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. throw now on first down and that's going to be incomplete too tough to hold on to that one it's second down incomplete Xavier Howard on the coverage he'll try again with the arm here on second down pressure and he's going to be taken down they sack him back right around the 44 Christian Wilkins credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Okay, was it a breakdown of protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. He'll drop to throw. He completes this one to Mack. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. Let's see now what Colin Kaepernick has been up to so far in this game. So with the three interceptions, how does he erase those from his mind and just focus on this drive? I think he may need some help from the coaching staff. Maybe the offensive coordinator says, okay, let's do a few of the shorter throws, quick rhythm throws where the ball's out of his hand quickly into a receiver before the defense can react. Maybe not take so many shots downfield, just in case. Get your confidence back up, and then later on, 
you expand the targets again. The kiss method. Keep it simple, stupid. I love it. I love it. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Trying to get it to Tariq Cohen out of the backfield. And it's third down. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Three and out. Here's Matt Bosher now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll set up to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. Well, there was second and long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. They'll set up a throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Had to pass there third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. Miami set to take over. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays. And he's going to go down. It's a sack on Kaepernick. Trey Hendrickson. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now the second down throw on target. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. It's a, a little tough on the secondary there. In zone defensively, quarterback had time to survey and find a spot. And if you want to change things up and put a little more pressure on him, you can go to man coverage. Everyone matches up and send more pressure. But you can also do it out of zone coverage if you're worried about what's going to happen on your back end. 
send someone else, drop someone else out of the line, the old zone blitz could come into play to try and get that pressure on the quarterback. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. In that play, it wound up losing yardage. Here's Matt Bosher now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Out of the gun, here's a give to Mack. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Jerome Baker there on the tackle. It's a pickup of three. Here's a second and seven. The toss here completed to Pittman. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Third and one. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. That's good for a Colts. They really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On play action, they'll throw. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Carl Nassib. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. They'll give him seven on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense. Finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. And that is incomplete. The pass intended for Zach Pascal. Incomplete. It's always a goal. It's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. The Colts send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. A few better when running the option or RPO than Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, that's a nice gain right there. And so much of making that play pay off is the decision-making. You've got to be able to make a read of the defense at a split second, whether you hand it off or keep it yourself. And he made the right decision there, no doubt about it. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. On first down, Connor. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Trey Hendrickson, the one who gets him on the ground. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 46-yard line. 
that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Play action. Now Kaepernick. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki, and it's third down. He was defended by Julian Blackman. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down at five. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Now Kaepernick. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Lynn Bowden, the one he was looking for. But it'll be second down. It's now second and ten. Kaepernick to throw again. Flushed out right. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A first down there on a pickup of 25. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but... It's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. On first and ten, here's Kaepernick. The screen pass here to Cohen. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. And despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. But plays like that, Charles, no doubt, they're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well, but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about. And that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. Now Kaepernick throwing on second down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Kaepernick now on third and goal. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Trey Hendrickson picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. And that'll bring him back within four. Makes the score, Colts 10, Dolphins 6. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. 
Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Four receivers in the formation here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and three. Pretty good first down play. Keeps them ahead of schedule, as they say. And ostensibly, they could go right back to it because there are multiple options on this play. Hand it inside. Quarterback tucks it and keeps it. Quarterback throws the ball downfield. You should be able to react to the defense and have an option available on every snap. And the 43 now on first down. He'll drive Drop to throw it. And he rifles one incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. The Colts on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he'll find Pittman. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 23. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. They'll run the screen with Mack. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. A six-yard pick. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Campbell making the catch. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Campbell. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. First and goal at the six-yard line. They'll look to throw again. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield, and how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Rodrigo Blankenship on for the PAT. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17-6. A 10-play drive that time, and it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. Here's Cohen now to return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Miami set to take over. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Kaepernick now on first down. And he will find his man on the outside. 
And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Incomplete. Brings up second. Kaepernick will try again on second down. He gets this one complete to Bowden. Kaepernick's pass. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards there and a first down. Again, it's Kaepernick. Wiggles free. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. DeForest Buckner never giving up. He works his way to the QB for a loss of 12. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Throwing now is Kaepernick. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. Kaepernick's pass. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. It's a gain of 11, and it's third down. On third and long, it's Kaepernick. That is caught by Cohen. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They'll run for it with Connor. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. What a job by this defense all game long. They've come together and really said, no one's crossing our goal line, and they're definitely not going to start right now. You can just see the dejection. Feel like nothing is working offensively. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up up third goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. And almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone, but as it stands, that brings up four. A 22-yard attempt. The kick by Sanders is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. 17, Dolphins nine. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. And he's set to go on offense once more. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. They'll run on first down with Marlon Mack. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. They keep it on the ground. Mack again. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. On third down, here's Taylor. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. Ready. 
The Colts in victory formation now as they take the knee. So this one winds up in Indianapolis victory. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You just you're, like you're, one handing game ball? Out, you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural. Yeah, but yeah, I, but, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I represent, like, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that. And I say multiple so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You, I thought I was the only child. You,